Hi there, this is Brian Forrester coming to you from Peru. Please consider joining us on our Croatia Bosnia tour in October of 2018. So what this is, brought to you by Hidden Inca Tours, is an exploration using a quadcopter of ancient sites in Peru. This is called a Pukio well, located in the Nazca area of Peru. And as you can see, there are many of them. They date from the Nazca period, which is approximately 100 AD to 600 AD. Almost all of the water in the Nazca area is subterranean, and so that's why the brilliant Nazca people invented this Pukio system of spiral wells in order to access water for washing and, of course, for irrigation. They're located about 15 minutes drive from the Nazca airport where you take the flights over the Nazca lines. Next, we're above the city of Cusco at a location called Little Kenko. And you can see the strange cut surfaces in the limestone rock. Some people think that this is a quarry, but there are literally hundreds of locations like this, and archaeologists can't properly explain who made it, or these, or when, because geologists have told me that the surfaces are so weathered that they would have been produced thousands of years before the time of the famous Inca people. It's a very strange location. Not that many visitors explore this area on a given day, and it's located about a three-minute drive from the much more famous Sacsayhuaman. But it, as you can see, there's no real pattern to the cutouts, which makes it a very mysterious place. And there is a retaining wall located on the side of it, with very megalithic blocks also showing some repair work in smaller stones by the later Inca people. And now, quadcopter Wiracocha will fly over this site so that you can see both the massive retaining wall as well as the cut surfaces on top and the grand city of Cusco in the background. Again, this location is called Little Kenko and is located about a three minute walk from the somewhat more famous Kenko, which is a giant outcrop of stone with many cut stone surfaces showing extreme ancient erosion. Now, we are above the city of Cusco at a location ca uh, called San Cristobal, and it's the site of the first Inca, or Sapa Inca, or High Inca's palace. His name was Manco Capac, or Malpu Capac. And from this site, you can see again the city of Cusco. Then, Another sudden change of locations finds us at Paracas, which is reasonably close to Nazca in Peru. This was my first test flight of my little quadcopter, and so I just wanted you to see the rather beautiful natural heritage of the Paracas area, which of course is where the largest elongated human skulls in the world have been found. So while some of you may know of Paracas because of the Paracas culture with the elongated skulls, there are also beautiful beaches and other wildlife aspects to explore here.
And yet another change of location. This finds us outside of Cusco at the ancient Inca site called Tipong, which is a classic example of their incredible ability to create massive and complex terracing systems. This location was probably constructed somewhere in the 14th or 15th century AD and has been manicured and is a cultural site that should really be visited. Also outside of Cusco and reasonably close to Tipong, we find the Inti Punku Sun Gate, which was the southern entrance fortified um, entrance to the ancient Inca city of Cusco. You see again, it's a terracing system, very complex, very well made, and has been manicured in recent times by the Peruvian Ministry of Culture so that you can enjoy it. It's located about a one hour drive south of the city of Cusco on the way to Lake Titicaca and the Puno area. So now the quadcopter is moving in a little closer so that you can see the details of this Inca construction. Notice the massive stairs that are built right inside. And another curious element of this location is that we find a megalithic aspect, which the quadcopter is moving towards now. And that megalithic aspect predates the Inca. It's classic of any Inca site that usually there's an older megalithic construction as well. And so, teasing you a little more, and endangering possibly the quadcopter itself. We're moving towards and up and over the massive sun gate system. Notice that there is a channel that was used by the Inca to move water from the high mountains down towards the Cusco area. The Inca were absolute masters of the movement of water and agriculture and other arts and sciences. And this is our final little clip as we let the quadcopter come down and rest for another adventure later. So, if you'd like to come and see some of these sites, these are upcoming tours. In January, it's Mexico, studying the ancient Olmec, Toltec, Maya, and Aztec peoples. Then in March, our sixth annual trip to Egypt, looking at lost ancient high technology. In June, it's a celebration of the Inti Raimi Inca Festival in Cusco. Then August, our annual Elongated Skulls Tour of Peru. And in October, we explore the Bosnian Pyramids and much, much more, including a cruise. And these are related books available at Amazon and on my website. Aftershock, the ancient cataclysm that erased human history. And lost ancient technology of Peru and Bolivia.